Okay, now recently I posted a video about the Gemini's brand new feature, which is real-time visual conversations with AI and screen sharing feature to interact with Gemini about the contents on the screen. Now that is a game-changing feature which Google has introduced on a Gemini application and Samsung has announced that this particular feature will be making its way to Samsung Galaxy S25 series users. Samsung says through AI-powered assistance, Galaxy users can more naturally engage in conversational interactions that make everyday tasks easier. Now this is the Galaxy S25 Ultra I have got here. Let me show you where exactly this feature is. Let me open Gemini application. Now here, I need to tap on this Gemini Live button. That is when I get to see these two brand new buttons here. One is for visual conversations with AI and the other one is to share the current screen. I will demonstrate what these two features can do in a bit. But before that, let me tell you a small catch over here. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Now this feature was introduced by Google a few days ago and a Reddit user did say that this feature showed up on their Xiaomi phone which was spotted by 9to5Google. Which means this feature is not exclusive to the Galaxy S25 series. This will be coming to the other devices as well. But at the moment, Samsung says this will be made available for the S25 series free of charge. Which means any Galaxy S25 users made be S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra, you will be able to use this particular feature. Now Samsung did not mention anything about a Gemini Advanced subscription here. They just said it is free of charge. Now these two new features are actually made available by Google for Gemini advanced users and not for free Gemini app users. And the thing here is Galaxy S25 series comes bundled with six months free Gemini advanced subscription like I have activated on my device. Let me quickly show you that. Let me go to the gallery here and let me show you the screenshots that I've taken while subscribing or let's say claiming this specific offer. As you can see here, Google One AI Premium 2TB plan, and this includes six month free trial. This is specifically for the Galaxy S25 series. Now Samsung has not specified whether this particular feature, the new feature on Gemini app will be available for people who have claimed this six months free trial or any device will be getting this specific feature. Now they are saying it is available for any users free of charge, which means even if you don't have the specific offer, you should be able to use these features on a Gemini application. Now let me know if this feature is showing up on your device without this free trial or without the uh, Gemini advanced subscription. Drop a comment and let me know. Now it's time I quickly show you what this feature can do. This is a game changing feature like I mentioned. A lot of people will get benefited. There are various different use case scenarios for this feature. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Can you see the cat? Yes, I can see the cat. It's a Bengal cat with beautiful markings. What would you like to know about it? How tall they grow? Bengal cats are considered medium to large size cats. Males are typically larger than females. On average, they stand between 13 to 16 inches tall at the shoulder. Okay, I see the cats. The one lying down appears to be a gray and white munchkin cat. Is there anything I can tell you about this breed? Uh, that's not the breed. Can you recognize the breed now? Oh, my bad. That's definitely a Persian cat. They're known for their long, fluffy fur and flat faces. Did you want to know anything else about them? Tell me more about Bengal cat. Bengal cats are known for their wild appearance, with a coat that resembles a leopard or jaguar. They're also very active and intelligent cats, often described as having a dog-like personality. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about them? Uh, I want to wear a shirt for an office party today. Which one do you suggest? The white polo shirt looks more formal and would be suitable for an office party. The striped shirt is more casual, while the black t-shirt is the most casual of the three. Uh, suggest me one. The white polo shirt looks more formal and would be suitable for an office party. The striped shirt is more casual, while the black t-shirt is the most casual of the three. Uh, what do you see here? Okay, I see your iPhone 13 Pro. I can't quite make out the text on the tag from here. Could you hold it a bit closer to the camera? Okay, this is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And I want to know uh, what are these three cameras for? Okay, those three cameras on the back of your iPhone 16 Pro Max are pretty powerful. 
you got a wide camera for everyday shots, an ultra wide for capturing more of the scene, and a telephoto lens for zooming in without losing quality. They work together to give you amazing photos and videos in all sorts of situations. And uh, I'm wondering what are these other two rings here apart from these three camera lenses? Those other two rings you're seeing are also cameras. The smaller one is the ultra wide lens. Great for capturing wide no, shots. No, no, like no. I'm, I'm seeing. Photos. The other one is the telephoto Wait. lens. Wait. Uh, I'm, okay. not, I'm, not about... I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about those three main cameras. Apart from those three cameras, I can see two more dots or let's say rings over there. What are those? Those two big rings you're seeing aren't cameras. The one on the left is the flash, and the one on the right is a LiDAR scanner. It helps with things like augmented reality and portrait mode photos. Someone gifted me this pen uh, and I want to know what could be the cost of this. That's a lovely pen. It looks like a sheet for 300 and they usually range from 4,000 rupees to 6,000 rupees depending on the finish and where you buy it. Uh, I got this camera here. I want to remove the lens. How do I do that? Okay, to remove the lens from your Nikon D5300, press the lens release button while turning the lens. Remember to keep the camera facing down to prevent dust from entering the body. And let me know if you need any more help. I'm not using this camera. Uh, should I discard this? What is the best way to do it? If your Nikon D5300 is still working, you could sell it online or trade it in. If it's broken, consider recycling it at an e-waste facility or checking if Nikon has a recycling program. Do you want help finding places to sell or recycle it? Yeah, find a place to recycle this. You can check with local electronic stores or recycling centers in Bengaluru for e-waste recycling programs. Some manufacturers also have take-back programs. Would you like me to help you find some options near you? Yep. I found a few options for recycling your Nikon D5300 in Bengaluru. Would you prefer a drop-off location or a mail-in service? Mail-in service? Okay, for mail-in services, you can check out companies like Green Dust or Ecocentric. They specialize in electronic waste recycling and often provide okay, wait. shipping labels. Uh, what about uh, selling this camera? How much can I get if I sell this in the market? Okay, I can help with that. To give you a good estimate, I'll need a little more information. Could you tell me the camera's condition and if it includes any extra lenses or accessories? No, it's in a good condition. It doesn't include any other accessories. Okay. A used Nikon D5300 in good condition can sell for anywhere between 15,000 rupees to 25,000 rupees, depending on the exact condition and where you sell it. Would you like some suggestions on where to sell it? Now let me activate the screen sharing feature. For that, I need to activate Gemini and tap on this button here. This will share the screen. I'll tap on start. And now Gemini is active. As you can see, we have got this uh, graphics or let's say animation here. And uh, I can go home and I can select anything on the screen to ask about that specific content with Gemini. Now what I'll do is I will probably open my files and maybe open a document. Can you tell me how many floors are there on this building? Okay. I see the Soba Valley View building. It looks like it has about 19 floors. Is there anything else you'd like to know about it? It doesn't have 19 floors. Can you count it again? You're right. There are not 19 floors. It looks like there are 14 floors in this building. Are there any other details you'd like to know about Soba Valley View? It actually has 13 floors, but yeah, it's almost accurate. Now let's go back. Uh, can you just brief me about this PDF file that I have here? Uh, it's a bit long to go through everything. Uh, so if you can just help me with, uh, if you can summarize what we have here on this file. No problem. The document you're looking at is a brochure for Kasaku, a luxury apartment complex in Bengaluru. It highlights the complex's Japanese inspired design, world-class amenities, and prime location close to major attractions. Would you like me to elaborate on any of these aspects? Uh, I want to go through each and every page on this brochure, if you can summarize everything. Okay, I can summarize each page for you. The first page introduces Kasaku as a luxurious, Japanese-inspired living experience. The next few pages highlight its unique design, world-class amenities like a sky bungalow, and its prime location in Bengaluru. There's also information about the five exclusive towers and the awards Kasaku has received. Shall I go into more detail about a specific page? Uh, what is the price of these apartments? Can you tell me? Okay, I see the layout options for the apartments. The prices aren't listed here, but it does mention options ranging from three to seven bedrooms. Would you like me to help you find the price list? Yes. I couldn't find the prices in the document. Would you like me to look them up online? 
Yes, please do. Sure, I can help with that. Kasaku is a luxury apartment complex, so prices tend to be on the higher side. Based on what I'm seeing, a four-bedroom apartment can range from 7.92 crore rupees to 22 crore rupees. Does that fit your budget? Nope, it's quite expensive. Can you give me some alternatives in the same location? Sure, there are a few other options in the same area. Would you prefer a similar luxury complex? Or are you open to something a little different? Now that is screen sharing feature on Gemini. And if you want to pause the conversation, you can go to the live notifications here and tap on pause. And you can resume it right here on the live notification feature on One UI 7. Let me know what do you think about this feature. Drop a comment, share your thoughts about this. And also let me know whether this feature is showing up on your device. And you may be having a S24 series, S23 series or A series devices. And you may be wondering whether you are going to get this feature or not. Uh, at the moment, it is not clear. Samsung says this feature is rolling out starting with Galaxy S25 series and they have not mentioned anything about the rest of the devices. So let's wait and see that. But if you have a Gemini Advanced subscription, you should be able to see this feature on your uh, phone. And yet it is gradually rolling out. You may not get it immediately. So you might have to be patient and wait for it. And Samsung has also mentioned that this feature is available in select countries and to users 18 plus. So be wary of that. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have subscribed to the channel. If you want to know your phone better, go ahead, subscribe, give this video a like if you find this video informative. And if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application, Volvers, go ahead, download it. There are some very cool wallpapers recently added, both premium and free wallpapers. Go ahead, download it. And do not forget to rate this app on Play Store. I would really appreciate that. And your five star rating would encourage me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye bye.